Hamza Muhammad still has many questions. His German boss is having a container made that will later be sent to Muhammad's native Somaliland. This is the basic framework. Solar panels will be added later. It's designed as a mini solar power plant that's able to supply an entire village with power. We're seeking to work together as equals, to set up a company in the country that will operate there long term. This isn't like conventional aid work, where people come from industrialized nations and invest millions, but five years later they're gone. We've purposely set up a company to work together as equals and achieve a long term benefit. The first solar containers are already operating in Mali, in villages that aren't connected to the power grid. The German company sells the clean energy for 50 euro cents per kilowatt hour. They have a team of engineers based locally to ensure the power station works reliably for the coming decades. The steel frame is designed to last for 30 years. The photovoltaic modules also have a lifespan of 30 years. The inverters and batteries will need replacing earlier for technical reasons, but we've made allowances for that. We'll replace those as necessary. We plan to partner with these regions for at least 15 years. The container for Somaliland is to be set up in a village near the Ethiopian border. There it will replace an aging diesel generator. Local residents know the generator poses a health hazard. It will also help them to save money, so they welcome the initiative. The problem in Somaliland is that we have some of the highest energy prices in the world. And so because people can't pay those prices, because diesel is hugely expensive, they can't have power in their homes, and that also rules out many money-making enterprises. So if we can provide clean power for half the price, people will now be in a position to change their occupation. Like this village in Mali, where soon the miller won't need a diesel generator to grind flour. And the local tailor won't have to use coal to heat his iron. And these women who produce clay pots will be able to work in the evening when it's cooler. Power-driven machinery will also mean they can work much faster. The solar container can be set up in many parts of Africa. Its walls are three times as thick as those of a conventional shipping container. This allows the mini power plant to survive the often long and difficult transit routes unscathed. The German company has had to learn by trial and error. The first few times we delivered a container, we discovered that there was a lot of damage caused during transit. Cracks in the material, or even pieces that had broken off. So that's why we changed the design. It might look a bit oversized now, but it ensures the unit arrives in one piece and operates well. Installing the solar container is relatively easy. There's no need for complicated technical equipment or construction cranes. One solar container costs around 175,000 euros, including delivery. That would be a lot of money for most African villages. So Torsten Schreiber takes care of the financing, collecting money from charities and ecological funds that are keen to promote sustainable projects. He already has several million euros in hand to build new solar containers. Ten more of them are planned for Mali alone. We encountered a lot of skepticism at the start. Many wondered about the technology and whether these plants would work okay in very hot regions. Once the income starts to come in regularly, I'm very confident investors will trust us a lot more than they currently do. Last November, the first solar container was set up in Niger. Currently, the company has funding for 50 more.